Final chapter, Sacred Stone. It's a lot better than Sharon Stone, because that's just one dried-up, dusty vag, if ever there was one. Anyway, back to the point, which is exposition from the past. Because they're not going to let us get away with any more uh, non-exposition from the past. Yep. Not as friends. Of course not. The hell, that would never happen. <laughs> you know, looking back on it, Ephraim should have been suspicious from the get-go. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> yep, basically it's your fault. Yep, basically he has. Oh, that's great. Aww. So I have to stop you. Aww. It's so adorable. They're talking about killing each other. No one at all. No one at all. All right, enough goofing around. Uh, who are we going to sit this time? You're going to sit. You're going to sit. You're going to sit. You have to come, and you have to come along, and you have to come along. And I think that's everyone who I like the most, and people who have weapons. Let's just quickly check items and make sure we get lots of weapons for everybody. Like, let's trade your killer lance over to uh, the Magcor. Magcor is going to need that. And you don't really need to have this, do you? No, you don't. Anything else worth taking? Let's take... Let's take a door key. No, I, wait, we don't want to take a door key. I think we'll want to take chest keys. He'll take one. Erica's going to go with him. She's probably going to go with him. Yeah, it's fine. You're good. And you will give that back. And you will take a chest key. There's a couple chests in here. I don't want to have to bring a... A rogue with me. So this is why having a few of those stockpiled, not a bad idea. Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. And he'll be fine. So, let's quickly just get our formation set up. So these two you can't change the position of. So they're going to go left. I'm going to send them left. She'll go left. And she'll go left. You're going to go right. And you're gonna go right. Right? Right. You're gonna go right, you're gonna go right, you're gonna go right. Four, five, six. They're gonna all gonna go right, and these guys are gonna go left. Okay. And break. I'm just trying to divide up the, uh, the potential damage we've got all lined up here. And I'm just doing it the smartest way I can think of, which is just to put people as far out as they can get. And having that extra movement on a general is just amazing. I know I was saying you could set up a paladin to be a super runner reacher guy, but come on. How awesome is that? They don't just run people wherever you want them. It is pretty gosh darn sweet, as they say. Come on, guys. Get up there. Oh, dance for Colm. Let Colm have some fun. I'm expecting I'm going to break that light brand on him by the end of this map, just because I've been abusing the hell out of it. It's a lot more useful when you give it to someone who's got some reasonable all-around skills. Go figure. She can just stand in the middle of the altar and have fun. He can actually kill somebody ahead of time if he wants to. No, he can't. All right, scratch that. And let's just uh, give him a killing edge to use then. Let's see what they got for me. Bring it on, Jambaloos. That's adorable. You tried to hurt me. However, you're going to die for your efforts. Although, Colm's just not very lucky with those criticals, is he? No, sir, no, sir. 100 bags full. And he gets a door key. Cool. Uh, he will not need that Worm Slayer. That Worm Slayer is useless. Wait, did I send both guys with keys one way? 
Holy crap, that was violent. <laughs> Nicely violent, that is. Maybe I'll send him right and I'll send one of the other ones back over the left then. Come on, guys. Run. Come at me, bro. Come on. Oh, you almost hit me. Good for you. Not much luck, but he is wearing that killing edge out in a hurry. That's for sure. Chest key. I'll keep the new chest key. The old one can just rot in a freaking uh, drawer for all I care. Oh, you hit it. Good work. Was it worth it? Because I don't think it was. I really don't think that was worth it. Silly, silly Billy boy. And she is almost maxed out. And she's coming around. Her luck could be a little higher than that. I am fine with what she's doing. Dorky. Ooh. She has room for the stuff, too. She would have been a perfect key carrier. Why didn't I think of her? Probably because I'm dumb. Now, I gave him a chess key. Alright, so, let me think here. You've got a door key we need. Killer? Killer? Want to be a killer? Be a killer. Well, she didn't really be a killer. It's a shame. She did kill, mind you, but not a killer. You know what, Ephraim? You trade with this fine-looking boy. You're gonna give him... You're gonna give him an elixir. You're gonna park right here. Because I said so. Wait, gotta be careful, because there are a lot of nasty things on this map. I guess I should actually show you what I'm up against. Like this thing, for instance, which will charge as soon as you get in range. It's not like the last one that was passive. No, no, this one means effing business. And he will wreck your Sunday, that is for sure. Good for the Erika. Uh, you can get over here, I guess, and just get ready to camp out with them. Camp out with your jamp out. All right. How close is this one to actually coming at me? Looks like I'll be okay if I go to... Well, uh, do I want to send her? No, I'll send uh, the Gilsters. And you can try out his brand new spear he hasn't used. This going to look remarkably similar to all other spears, honestly. <laughs> Not much to be said for that other than it's a spear. Position you right there, because that'll draw that jerkus out. Should have told this may draw the jerkus out too, but I don't care. He does not have much in the way of lance ability left. I probably should have given him fresh weapons. Oh well. Uh, which way do you want to go, Mur? I guess we'll send you that way. Sure, we'll send you that way, Mur. What the hell? And you can dance her back into moving and get her close to the front. So we're going to use her strength and abilities to really put a beat down on some people here. Oh yes, and I can also camp her out if I want to. So I will. Yeah, check it out. Well, that's unfortunate, but oh well. I'm not too worried about her. I have a suspicion she'll pull through. I have a suspicion you will not pull through, though. You scratch my armor. Prepare to die. Sucker. What a stone-cold sucker. Alright, 50 HP for the, the Gila Monster. About time. And you missed. And you're gonna die. So, get used to it. More troops coming at me. 
Oh, you're not going to hit me with that, so don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. See? Her horse can somehow stand on one leg. Can horses actually do that? Do they have... They, I just don't think they can. There's a chance I may get stoned here, though. Nope. She did the two-step to avoid it. Two-step. Two-step. Oh, Chromio, you are so good. All right. Someone's hurt. She's hurt, but you know what? She can take care of her own damn problems. You have to go shine this mofo up real pretty. Real pretty. That type of pretty that makes you go, damn, that's pretty. So pretty. Ridiculously pretty. And then you are going to go shine this thing up with your brave bow. Because it's fun. Excellent. So that's one of those down. You've got a door key and a chest key. and One of you must have a door key now, right? One of you is door key? Door key? Anyone door key? No? Apparently not. Destroy. Alright, that works. That's sufficient. More magic. Something she needs in spades. I'm just gonna do that for a minute, because I can. That may have been a mistake, but oh well. Learn and live, as they say. Actually, ah, we'll keep you around. I'll get you up here and... The dragon, they can't fly, right? No. They're stuck in, like, perma-dragon mode. They're not little girls like uh, the other one over there. The other one, as she likes to be called. Alright, I got another job for you there, uh, Naimi. Are you woman enough to handle it? We'll find out, won't we? Alright, so you got that. You're gonna put your Nidhogg on, and you're gonna use a Vulnery. Because she is dragon baiting right now. And we're cool with that. We're honestly quite good with dragon baiting. Alright, let's see what happens. I'd be funnier, but this is serious business. Why did I not switch you to a better weapon? I mean, you're probably going to kill him, but why do I have a steel axe on you? Well, enjoy it. That's probably the last time you see him wielding an axe, in all honesty. Maybe once or twice more, but I doubt it. He's got to get his wicked weapon on and start wrecking some peeps. Oh, that is a nasty, filthy-looking thing. Nice. Excellent. And now it's mostly ready for the massacre that's coming next turn. Gilliam, on the other hand, is going to take some pretty decent damage here. Huh, different breath attacks by the looks of it. Very interesting. Come at me if you want, it's not going to do you any good. None whatso freaking ever. Uh, wait a minute. Alright. So if I do that, she's going to take some serious damage. Isn't she? Isn't she? You know what the hell with it? She can take some serious damage. I'm fine with that. She's tough. And she'll get a critical anyway. See? What did I tell you? Critical. It's critical that she does what I tell her to. Because at this point in the game, I have no compunction against letting someone die in the field of battle. Yeah, you got close to the end, so what? It's not my job to make sure you get all the way. Hey, don't you have keys? You know what? Do we not have no door key over here? Where's the freaking door key? There should be a door key over here. Damn this freaking game sometimes. Okay. Let's try a different tact here, shall we? Trade to her... I, I, oh, I see. I just screwed that up. Ah, whatever. Just do it. Door. Get in there. You're going to grab the treasure next turn. You. 
and dance for her. That's fine. I'm basically I'm going to give Erica a door key out of the uh, supply, and she can run across. I could have swore there was a door key over there. So it's kind of crappy that she can't possibly do the whole uh, supply thing on her own little uh, body of body. Let's try to mend poor Naomi's brain because it got roasted pretty good there. That'll do it. That'll do it very nicely. All right. You stand up for yourself with that? Hell no, you can't. Well, let's use a killer bow. Finish him off with a critical. It'll be funny. Oh, just hit him, man. That's fine. Because bows also work on dragons. They have the advantage. So bows are pretty sweet against those uh, Draco zomb or zombie Dracos or whatever you want to call them. They're, they're a word. I know that. All right. Time to go slaughtering. Do it. Good work, Cormag. Alright, so Archer Boy. That's fine. Are you hurt at all? No, you're not hurt, Garrick. Well, by all means, get your ass up there. Draw some fire, would you? So much for that only seeing an axe occasionally sort of tripe I was peddling. So he can't do anything, so what am I worried about? And you were pretty hurt. You must have an elixir or a vulnery kicking around. Perfect. I'll get you back up to fight and snuff soon enough. Alright. That is going to be unfortunate for you when this turns against you. And it will turn against you. Have no fear. Ooh. Ooh, that's just got to not feel good, does it? Not at all. Oh, reinforcements. What do we get out of here? A master seal. Not any good to us now, but that's good to know that if I desperately needed one, I could promote somebody. I wonder what's over in this one. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, won't we? What about you, huh? That's fine. You guys can just wait your turn. You four or five, are you feeling brave enough to go up here and actually do some serious business? Gilliam, how do you feel about doing some business of the serious variety? If you go right there, you're probably going to draw yourself a whole whack of attention. We're cool with that. Garrick, you can go back him up, and you can also back him up. I think I'm going to send everybody over there. Just because if reinforcements came in on the one side, it stands to reason I'll see reinforcements on this side the same way. And we don't want to give them too much of a chance to have too much fun. Uh, all by his lonesome, do we? Nope. Let's see if we can handle these dogs. Yeah, I'm not surprised he's not 100% to hit these guys. Pretty good chance, though, just the same. Because these dogs are mega fast. He's only going to get one round against them. I don't know if I have anybody who would be fast enough to two round these guys. The best I can hope for is to uh, just keep them to one. If Gilliam wasn't totally invincible to their attacks, of course. I forgot that Gilliam's not fully healed, so that could be a problem. We'll see how it turns out. Eyeballs are charging. However, we'll be able to take care of one anyway. Wow, that attack takes a while. And that attack takes barely any time at all. And that's the way we like it. Trust me, it is. It is. Just don't argue with me. That's what it is. Can you get up there and join the... F oh, you can get up there and join the fight. Good man. Destroy that thing. Just make it bleed. That'll make it bleed nicely. Alright. Something 
Is he not at an S rank yet? Well, he is now. Good for him, I guess. <laughs> so we got guys. Problem is we only got one or two real frontline fighters here, so... We're just gonna have to be careful with our movements, that's all. Well, let's dance you, first of all. Get you out of the way. Now, how are we gonna do that? I wanna kill all these eyeballs this turn, just to be sure. I wanna give them too much of an opportunity to do stuff, you know. Not something I'm interested in letting them do. Stuff. How far can you reach? You can get right down on in there. How about you? How far can you get? Alright. So if I go right here and let you kill that thing, that'll be fine. Someone's gonna get hit with a bow and arrow and they don't won't want to, but if it's just a bow and arrow, it's not a really a threat, because their 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 bowmen are pretty weak. Speed. The dude has got some serious, serious sped on his side. Alright, you're gonna go roast this guy, because I want you to. Can you handle that? Are you good with that? Because if you're not, you know, TFB, you're doing it anyway. So stop your crying and just start working out here. Well, he gets a shot at me this way, but whatever. I still want to give her a chance to upgrade as much as possible, just because... There's dangerous stuff afoot, and we want her to have the best chance possible of survival. Oh, she's going to critical hit now. That's a little late, Natasha. A little late. That shine book won't last forever. Maybe she'll get a, a class up soon in her book abilities. Oh, maybe she'll actually get something worth using. That'd be pretty neat. How far can this guy run? Far enough to get me if I go shoot this guy. But you know what? I have faith she can dodge anything he's dealing out. Uh, actually, you know what? We're not going to do that. I changed my mind. I'm allowed to do that. I'll well, just get you right up there. Okay. So we're making progress. But first of all, open that door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk that dinosaur. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Shouldn't have done it. But I did. It's a moot point at this point. There's not much we can do about it. Who's got good resistance over here? We need someone with some good resistance. 13, 16, 6, 5. Well, I guess by the virtue put in me by somebody, Gilliam is still the man we're going to use. I'm just worried about him getting poisoned. That's the only issue I can see at this point. And you we're going to send that way. And you we're going to send that way. We're going to get some troops that are going to... We're basically going to attack from three sides. Once we're ready to break through... We're coming in from all three sides here. So basically get them all lined up. Here come the spiders, charging. That was pretty smart of you. No, that wasn't very smart of you at all. At all. Like, I don't know what you were thinking, other than I just want to die, honestly. I do like that green lightning bolt down the back of these spiders. Pretty interesting. He may not be able to kill this thing. It has a lot of hit points. Oh, no, I get two rounds. It's most definitely dead. Which we're cool with. Oh, and these guys have shadow shots, do they? Yikes. That could be a problem for the Gilsters. But it'll miss. See? No problem at all. You gotta remember that he doesn't have full hit points. I just can't send him willy-nilly out like that. I think like leveling up on dodging a spell. <laughs> Skills to pay the bills. Not sure why I went with that. But hey, not sure why I do anything really. Oh, here comes a magican. Now this is probably going to hit after that last one missed. That is the law of average. Yep. Alright, so I'll have someone else come in and do some Yaoman's work here. That was just a silly idea. You should feel silly for coming up with said idea. Ah, there's those reinforcements I was expecting, just a little later than I expected. 
Kind of unexpected, if you know what I mean. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to call it here, because this is a tough nut to crack, and there's a lot of exposition coming up. So, we'll call it here, and we'll finish this one off on the morrow. Besides, we've only got half the place under control. It's an ideal cutting out spot. Stop arguing with me. Stop it. Cut it out. Seriously. Enough.